That's the day. Uh, and maybe those guys will catch Tea Party fever, the political phenomenon sweeping the country. Uh, there are thousands and thousands of Americans holding protests in recent weeks saying that they're fed up with big bailouts and government mortgaging their kids' future. Get a load of this now. From coast to coast, literally hundreds of tea parties plan for tax day. But in the meantime, want to talk about this modern-day revolution brewing in a city near you. Georgia Congressman Phil Greengree is my guest, a Republican and member of the Energy and Commerce Committee. Out of Atlanta today you are. Good morning to you. Uh, just you're trying to get an idea for next. What, what is your expectation for tax day? Uh, on the Tea Party plan for Atlanta. Well, well, Bill, I want to show you now. I've, I've got got my tea bags here. <laughs> you know, to pick your brand. Uh, well, I think we're going to have some tea parties all across this country. Maybe not only on uh, Tax Day, April fifteenth, uh, possibly on July the fourth. And I think this grassroots uh, uh, effort is going to continue. I think people, kind of in the vein of the old movie Network and Howard Beale. They're mad as heck, Bill, and they're not going to take it anymore. Well, for and for I, you, I, then, for what does the movement represent? What, what is the message you want to come from it? Well, I think the movement represents the American people in a nonpartisan way, be they Republicans, Democrats, Independents, Libertarians. They are sick and tired, Bill, of this constant taxation without representation. And indeed, on the death tax, it's taxation without reparation. Uh, so we go back to our roots. We go back to 1773 and the Boston Tea Party uh, when King George III wanted to have an import tax. And the people said, look, we don't even have a voice in Parliament. And you're going to tax us? Heck no. And that's when they poured those uh, 300 barrels of tea into the Boston Harbor. Uh, it's symbolic, but it means a lot. And this is modern day uh, Boston Tea Party, and people are sick of it. Now, I, so I understand what happens next Wednesday uh, on April 15th. What happens on April 16th? Well, where does the movement go after that? Well, I hope it goes to uh, every congressional office, uh, House or Senate, that voted for all of this massive spending, all of these bailouts, uh, all of this spendulous bill, this $800 uh, billion and with tax uh, a trillion, uh, this budget of 3.6 something trillion dollars, uh, doubling the debt, the national debt in, in five years, tripling it in 10 years. Uh, this party, uh, the, uh, the Obama administration and the Democratic majority, their bill, they're taxing too much, they're spending too much, and they're borrowing too much. Well, Frank, we, we, to we, say, tried to, we tried to get a handle on just how much money this is in the end. But I, I guess my question should be a little more directed this way. Is there a leader that emerges from this group that, that, that joins and coalesces the groups from Orlando and Atlanta and Houston and Cincinnati and out to Denver and et cetera? Is there one person that is the unifier? Well, well I hope it's not some high-profile uh, political talk show host or... Or, or radio or TV or, or, or somebody that's uh, planning on running for president in 2012. Uh, I clearly don't want this to be political. Uh, I want this to be grassroots and men and women in my district, the 11th of Georgia, the salt of the earth people. Let's let them lead. And hopefully those politicians that support them will show up and lend their voice. Uh, and I plan to do that. I'm not exactly sure what my schedule is on April the 15th or July the 4th, but uh, I want to be there and lend the people the support because this is an uprising of the people. They're the ones, after all, that are getting hit with these enormous taxes, and there's no way we can afford that. We're going to watch it from here. Thank you for your time today. Phil Greengree, thank you. Out of Atlanta, Georgia thank today. You, all right, good to have you on. You got it.